guys welcome back so i hope you're all doing really really well today i really need to apologize for like my outfit it is literally this orange cloud top with like these navy blue shorts and these weird spongebob socks but i have to wear my crap clothes at the minute because i'm moving into uni <laughs> Um, this week, which I'm so excited for, and I'm so ready to go. I just shouldn't be wearing like my nice clothes because then it's just got to be like washed again. It's just like a waste. So I'm trying to keep all my nice clothes packed away. So I'm gonna just use all my clothes I'm not gonna take with me right now. So I look like weird. But this video, what even is this? So I just thought I'd actually make a different new video. I mean, because when I'm at uni, I'm gonna be making like study with me's and moving in in my room tour, which I'm so excited to do. I literally cannot wait for that but youtube literally like slagged me off for like not having good content it was like oh try and like diversify and make something different so i just thought i'd make a video on this so yeah this is basically my money pot so on my 18th birthday my friend libby i would put a picture up of her but she'll probably have a go at me if i put a picture of her up so Ooh, we're not gonna do that but basically i've had this money pot since i was 18 and it is literally so heavy it's so full i think i might weigh this to see how much it weighs but this is full of crap and i'm 20 now Ew! so it's been two years since i've had this and i just thought i'd smash it today and make a video on it because my videos on youtube if you haven't already seen them i would recommend you go and look at them they're all 20 minutes long. Like they're all really long videos and I keep making videos that are so long. I think because I just like chat so much, that's probably why they're so long, but I just need to make shorter videos and a bit more easy to digest ones instead of just a long one talking about like a makeup look that's mediocre, talking about my access course and then talking about all the stuff I've bought. I wanted to make one that's kind of like weird, a bit different. Um, and I wanted to smash this for so long. I was gonna smash it when I turned 19 and then I was gonna smash it when I turned 20 and do it in lockdown. But I thought oh, it's a perfect time to smash it now because I'm about to go to uni. I don't wanna take like a big fat money pot with me because I don't want someone to steal it. And I obviously need the money because, oh my God, mm, I have no money. So I just wanted to see how much is in this, show you what's in it with me. And I thought it would just be really a really good idea. The reason you have to smash it is like, this is the whole gimmick of it so it doesn't have a hole in the bottom you just it's like supposed to smash it so then you don't take money out of it so when you put money in it it just stays locked in there until you decide to smash it so yeah it's not even that full but it's just full of literal like pennies and stuff and i'm gonna like take it to the bank but this video is just gonna show that journey of it all but yeah i hope you enjoy this video i hope you stick around for more please subscribe as well because i just want loads of subscribers i mean i want to get to like at least 100 that'd be really really cute but i'm going to be making like studying videos and stuff and like my moving in day video and stuff like that i'm so excited to do all that stuff but i've just still got a few more days at home where i just have to kind of like chill a bit and i'm just enjoying it like being with my family just doing things with them walking my dog and stuff because i'm just not going to see them till december because i want to be at uni till december i don't want to come back until then because once i'm back i'm back and i just i'm not into that but yeah we're just gonna go and like smash this and yeah let's actually weigh this first so you can see how much this weighs so yeah i'm just putting my last little coppers in my money bottle before i weigh it and then eventually absolutely obliterate it so i'm just about to throw it on the weighing scales yeah the weighing scale is really really weird as you can probably see but yeah the grand total weight comes to 2809 grams and i oh it's time. So that just smashed really, really well. So here I'm just throwing all of the coins from it. Oh my God, look at that. Just into this plastic container to go count upstairs. But yeah, I completely just like obliterated that. When I came upstairs to start filming the POV for like organizing all the coins, my tripod broke, like the little pin came out. <sighs> So 
So as you can see, I'm just starting to organize all the money now into its own group. So like the ones with the ones, the twos with the twos and all that. This is like the angle I've got. I know it's a bit weird, but it's kind of like you're on a black Eiffel Tower from this angle. So this is just a foreign coin that I found in the bottle. I don't know what it is. You can comment down below if you know what it is, but I just thought I'd show you that. <laughs> Oh, I literally wanted to pour more out onto the carpet so they would be in the shot. And it just went out on all of the already sorted groups. <sighs> so then this is just some more coin sorting because I just ruined my groups. And then here is just like this random 50p I found, which I think is from the 2012 Olympics. And then this is just a two cent coin from Europe. And when I was sorting through the money, I kept finding bits of the broken bottle. Oh my god. And this five cent coin here is the last miscellaneous coin that I found in the pile. Ew! <laughs> what an interesting artifact! And then I finally like separated all of the broken bottle bits from the coin pile. Oh my god, just look at all of that. What the hell is even that? So yeah, as you probably see, my friend just started helping me out with the separation. And then I got these money bags to put the money in for the bank. But when I actually did take it to the bank, you didn't even need to put them in them. So that was a waste of time. And then my mum started helping me out as well because it was just taking absolutely ages. And then as you'll see here, and this is my mum showing you how to like close the bags properly. But like I said, we didn't even need the bags. So tee hee hee. So the whole process took about 22 minutes overall, but obviously I've cut all of that for the video. And after all of that, we just started putting all the bags into this yellow bag for me to take to the bank. Like I said for the third time now, we did not need the bags, um, but I just put them all in here to take the next day. Hi guys. So I've just been to the bank and first of all, I got there, waited in line, la la la, gave all the bags in. And then the person was like, oh yeah, this is the wrong bank. So I went to the wrong bank and then I left there, went to the actual right bank and I was like, oh yeah, I've got all these coins. I'd like to have it in um, notes instead. And they were like, sorry, you have to put it straight into your account. So I had to do that. And instead of actually giving them the bags of coins, I had to pour them into this machine. I would have shown you a video, but I don't think you're allowed to film in a bank. So basically I just put all the coins in this little slot thing and then you would tip it up and all the coins would just filter down. So all the bags, I meticulously pulled these coins in with my mum and stuff. It was just all poured out into this box. So I didn't even have to put them in the bags. But yeah, pulled them all down and then the screen calculated how many there was in total. Okay, so the overall total was... £10.71. So yeah, £10.71p. I think that's pretty good. Because my sister was like, oh, there'll just be like £7 in there, but... I'm pretty happy with that because it was meant to be £11, what we had calculated, but the machine said that there was 299 1Ps, which is good, so we're only like 1P off where we miscalculated. All the 5Ps, there was 100 of those as well that they calculated, so we got the 5Ps on point. But then with the 2Ps, there was only 139 2Ps, so we had obviously missed out like over 22 peas somehow when we were like putting the bags together so oops i guess and also one of the two peas did get rejected though i think it was like counterfeit or something maybe but yeah i'm pretty happy with that the reason we haven't got like the 10 peas or the 20 peas in there is because with the bags you're only supposed to fill up the bags when you have a certain amount threshold but they didn't even need the bags so that was a whole palaver but yeah i'm really happy with that 10 pounds 71 i mean that's literally not a lot but it's better than not having £10.71. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a bit weird and I don't know if this is going to really help anyone, but I had a good time doing with it. I had a good time doing it and it was actually really good. It was fun to do, like just absolutely smash a money box. I'm just like really ready to go to uni now. I'm just so excited to go. And this is actually my plan to make a video that actually is shorter than 10 minutes. And I think I've actually done that. So I'm just so happy we're doing that as well. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment down below what you thought of it all. And I'll see you in the next one, which will be my uni move in video. And I'm gonna try and make that as short as I can because I really prefer shorter videos. So 
Hope you had a good time. Hope you come back for more and please subscribe. Bye.